So what's in clinical trials now is this. It's the size. So I almost lost it in the crack in the floor. It's this the size of the fish oil pill you took this morning. And this, this will be implanted and in, has been implanted now in, in the first cohort of patients in the U.S. as part of a first in uh, human study of this device, um, which is program, which is fully programmable, has an antenna. We'll talk to your iPad, the doctor's iPad. And uh, so the doctor will see the patient every month or six weeks, just like now. Rather than adjust a paper or prescription or an electronic medical record, you'll adjust the, 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 the electron flow through this device. Obviously, these will be, could, be, could communicate through the internet in the future as well. I, that, that trial will be a first in human and, and in RA patients. So there should be data coming in the US soon. There's, there are ongoing European trials um, led by Setpoint for Crohn's disease using the other device. And those uh, apparently are showing the efficacy you would expect. So, so these are going to get smaller and smaller. And, and the challenge to the, I mean, the, the, the things we can imagine engineers making, they've already made. And the things that we can, in my experience, in the last five years, I've learned a lot about this. I didn't know anything about it before. And, and the things, the things that, they, that we can barely imagine now, or can't even imagine, they're working on. So I think the opportunity will be to have small devices that are very safe um, in targeting um, molecular mechanisms for which currently are the drugs we have available are either expensive, toxic, or don't work very well.